Oh, YouTube. About a week ago, a YouTuber named uh, 314299 made a video on uh, Russian Baikal Junior 22 long rifle ammunition. I watched his video. I liked it a lot. And I just wanted to add a little bit to it. And then I wanted to show you some other cartridges made from around the world. They're, they're older boxes of cartridges you might be interested in taking a look at. What 314299 decided on this ammunition was it wasn't very good and his results mirror mine exactly I had the exact same problems with the stuff and uh, really at this point in time uh, pretty good ammunition as a collectible wouldn't recommend trying to shoot it so set that one aside I want to show you another Russian you may or may not have seen this is another version this is called the sniper about the only real difference between it and the junior is it has a brass case Let's see if I get one out of there. there we go in place of the steel case uh, in my experience it was slightly more accurate than the junior and it was slightly more surefire at this point in time uh, it, it will probably be about the same as the junior you're going to get erratic ignition out of it another one I wouldn't recommend trying to fire if you happen to come across it keep it as a collectible Staying with the ex-communist bloc countries, I have a couple of uh, different ammunition here. This here is Cellar and Below, Czechoslovakian ammo. Really, really good. Uh, if you can find this stuff, it's still imported into the States and North America today. I recommend you go ahead and get some. Uh, it's very consistent, very surefire. Even to this day, this, these, I have a number of boxes, probably about 30 or 40 more boxes of this stuff, but it still remains surefire, still remains accurate, and uh, haven't had any hang fires or stuck bullets in the bore with it. Really, really good ammo. The modern production ammo is just as good, if not better, than this stuff. This one here is a Pobita, standard velocity, brass case. This comes out of Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia. Uh, at the time I got it, it wasn't bad ammunition. Um, at this point in time, we're looking about 15 years down the road, 20 years down the road. I wouldn't recommend firing it again. You're probably going to get some erratic ignition out of it. But it was very good, uh, decent ammunition. This is a Langverbuchen, which is, means pistol, 22 long rifle for pistol. And that's what I used it in pistol shooting. It's not really that good for shooting in a rifle. It'll work, but. Let's see. Here's an interesting one. We've all seen 22 Wolf. Highly recommended ammunition. Most people think Wolf is a Russian made in the case of the 22 long rifle. This stuff's actually made in Germany. This is the company that makes the Wolf ammunition. They're called uh, Jangun Sport Munitions GmbH. And you can find this stuff if you look. It's imported. And the best part about it is it's about one-third less the cost for a box of this stuff as it is for the Wolf. They charge a premium for the Wolf. If you can find this ammunition, this ammunition, this pistol match, they make it uh, rifle match too, which is equivalent to this stuff here. And it's about one-third less the cost. Good, clean, surefire ammunition. Uh, highly rated, highly recommended. Both of these are standard velocity. This one here is Concord. This uh, was a high velocity round. Again, this is about oh at least 20, 25 year old ammunition. Um, not recommended for shooting now. Particular cartridges were made in Argentina. Uh, you find this now, it's probably going to be in the realm of a collectible ammunition. I'm not sure, sure if I haven't shot any of this in a long, long time. I only have a few boxes of it left. So if you happen to see this one, Argentine made, nice little collectible. Agia. A lot of people know the name Agia. Uh, older box here. High velocity. Super extra. Lead. Brass case. Mexican. Uh... A lot of people refer to it now as Mexican Remington because I believe Remington Arms bought into the Agia factory. 
modern versions of this pretty darn good it's pretty consistent ammunition in uh, the testing I have some newer boxes of this stuff this actually shoots a little bit better than uh, the Remington especially the bulk pack Remington you get made in the USA the Mexican stuff is actually a little bit better quality another one from Mexico that you don't see too often up here anymore is Tiger Cat these were a uh, high velocity hollow point pretty nice consistent round again you don't see them too often up here anymore so yeah they were surefire at the time uh, I, again I'm not sure I haven't fired this in a long time so I don't know if it's going to maintain its consistency or not I've been debating whether to get myself one of the little uh, Harrington Richardson single shot break open 22's and shoot some of this stuff at least that way if I stick one in the bore I can, I'll know right away whether I did so or not but if you happen to come across this at a gun show or piled up dirt covered in a gun shop think of it as a collectible and not a shootable now yeah let's see RWS my favorite very very consistent German made ammunition comes in a number of different types again this is a pistol match nickel plated this isn't a steel case if we can get one out of there standard velocity 40 grain lead bullet excellent even this stuff as old as it is it is is still surefire ammunition uh, you find RWS at a good price even if it's older I'd recommend getting some and trying it I don't think you're gonna have any problems with it in your firearm they uh, if this stuff's kept dry and clean I think the uh, it'll probably the priming compound will stay good for 40 years very excellent And North Korea, or excuse me, South Korea, PMC, Pusang Metal Corporation. Number of different forms of the ammunition made. These are just a few examples. This is another one that, in my experience, has remained consistent through the years. Uh, as these boxes get older, I think this stuff will have about a 15 year shelf life on it. After that, the priming will probably get a little erratic on it. But Pusang is a, the PMC is excellent ammunition. I've had very good luck with all of it I've ever tried. Uh, I've never had a bad lot of ammunition out of them. They're all, uh, they're fairly consistent, sure fire, and uh, just all around good ammunition. Usually you can get it at a better price than you can some of the premium grade American stuff, and it's just as good. Here's another oddball. This is Chinese made 22 caliber ammunition, something you don't see here in the US. I don't know if they can still get it up in Canada or not. They do quite a bit of import with them. Americans are pretty well done away with Chinese firearms and ammunition and imports. Uh, at the time I was shooting this stuff it was okay. Probably a uh, little bit better than the the Russian made stuff. Not really any better than any of the other foreign stuff I've showed you. Uh, somewhat weak, very mild report. Uh, you find this stuff in this kind of a box now. I'd, I'd leave it with the Russian. I wouldn't shoot it. I don't think the priming on this stuff is going to be consistent enough to guarantee you're not going to stick a bullet or get any acceptable accuracy out of it. I have another couple boxes I want to show you, and maybe somebody can tell me if this is true or not. These are Winchester Supremes, 22 Magnum, 22 Long Rifle, uh, both qualified called a match or a premium hunting ammunition the magnum is in a uh, 34 grain hollow point this stuff here is a 40 grain um, brass case lead bullet but what I really want to know because of the type of headspace that's on here I have heard this stuff's actually made in Australia and if anybody knows for a fact whether that's made in Australia I'd like to know and uh, shoot me a little note or send something on the comments and let me know it's been all around good ammunition you can't find it anymore um, what I have left of this I'm keeping as collectible you just can't find it anymore so there you go there's there's a bunch of ammunition if you happen to be wandering around at a gun show or a gun shop and see some of that oddball stuff and you want nice little collection ammo, ammo uh, pick some up but don't shoot it thanks for watching